I have to have an MRI and I'm a little worried, hopefully from nothing. This is going to cover what is going on, why I haven't been uploading a bunch, and then why I'm suddenly starting to come back now. And I'm not going to edit this video. This honestly terrifies me. I know, oh, you won't go viral from this fall. I'm not even trying to go viral. I'm just trying to let y'all know what is going on. And maybe you relate, maybe you don't. So, 10 years ago, I had, you know those glass, like, shade things on the lights? Uh, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but they're like covers or something, whatever. Well, anyway, one of those fell down on my head about right here. Uh, I can't touch the spot because that will actually uh, set it off and. I really would rather not have you guys see me start uh, passing out, because <laughs> that might happen. And so, this is actually pretty hard for me to look right at the camera speaking about this. Usually I don't have a problem looking at the camera, but I, th th this is making me nervous. And if you see like a glare thing with my glasses, that is because my first monitor is off, that's got the camera on it, the second monitor is on right now, and it's got the recording up so I can make sure that my camera is not freezing on me. So the MRI is basically to make sure that my brain is functioning the way it's supposed to. Um, they think that something on the inside may not be as strong as it is supposed to, and by the I mean the doctors. I already got some blood work done. Um, I don't know if you can see it over there, it's kind of already healing. Who else would show you the arm like this, right? <laughs> so, I already got some blood work done. I literally went to the doctor yesterday. And again, I'm not editing this, so if this ends up being a terrible video, well, so be it. I just want to explain what's going on. Um, I'm hoping they don't find shards of glass, but it, it's possible. I mean, I was bleeding from head to toe when this happened. Um, I literally stepped in glass and had glass in my foot. So, I mean, it's possible there still could be some glass in here, um, or maybe it's moved, I don't know. Um, all my tests, all my blood tests came back fine, so, you know, I don't have any diabetes, I don't have cancer, I don't have stuff right now. Hi, Emo. Apparently he woke up when I said cancer. That, that was really weird timing. Um, this is what I'm talking about, this is Emo. Yes, I'm talking about you, buddy. Anyway, back to what we were talking about, so I'm not sure when I'm going to get the, um, have an MRI happen or whatever, however I'm supposed to term that, but I just know it's, it has to happen at some point. I'm scared of what they could find. It could be something super simple, so it could be they don't really find anything, there's no issue with me, or it could, you know, it could be a brain gate, or it could be, you know, internal bleeding, or I don't know, just anything I don't know what they'll find I hope I'm worrying for nothing but aside from that um the other things that I said I would explain I guess I'm uh, gonna come out in this video as well I put myself in a financial bind um I started climbing out of that because I finally realized um at the beginning of my second year I realized something I didn't realize when I first moved out which is just because you have money doesn't mean you have to spend it it's okay to save money for the future. Um, I basically had to give myself permission to do that, which I know sounds weird, but when I first moved out, I was like, YOLO, you only live once. Um, that looks cool, I'm gonna get that. That looks shiny, I want that, I want this, I want this. You don't need to do that. And I had to learn the hard way. Now, don't get me wrong, some of the stuff I bought were pretty cool. But some of the stuff was just not worth at all. And I feel dumb for buying things, but I learned, albeit the hard way. And so I started getting better. Um, I kind of did my own spin on the take of you want to pay yourself every day. Well, well, you're supposed to pay yourself like open a new bank account, pay yourself for like an hour's work every day, even if you don't actually work that day. What I'm doing currently at the time of this recording is basically breaking down after taxes what do I make in a day and writing that down in like a notebook thing and paying myself for that so that, that way I can make okay you can't spend any more that day and plus it creates like a monthly budget thing so I can see like where I am monthly on have I saved money this month 
have I not? And just kind of keeps myself in check better that way. With the exception of last month, because as you probably noticed from all of this setup right here, I have moved, so it is a new location, which cost me all the money I had and then some. It literally cost me double the money I that I had. So, kind of the setback there, but again, with this system that I have set in place, I'm on track to get back up to saving money and not struggling as much, hopefully. Which brings me to the next topic of, okay, well, what's going on in this low head? What is driving you crazy? Some of it was YouTube because, like, I want to make videos every single week for you guys. Part of me thinks that maybe my upload project or 52 video project, whatever you call it, of making a huge worth of weekly videos maybe is not so smart an idea after all. Um, I'm honestly thinking maybe I should scrap that idea and maybe just start making videos again. I do have like a few months worth of videos at the time of this recording and I just found a music album I made. Um, actually, I think there might be enough music for two albums, it's like electronic music for video game type of stuff that I've never released. Um, so I'm debating on really releasing that for you guys, but I just, I want to get better. I feel like at this point, we're getting the signs that a channel typically gets when it's about to explode. I know thumbnails are holding me back. I know consistency is holding me back, and I know I'm holding back the channel, and I think part of it is because I am trying way too much at this, and there I go looking off away from the camera again. <laughs> I just, I don't want to leave you guys hanging. And I just, I feel like I could do better, but at the same time, like, it's blowing up in my face. Because a lot of the things that I've tried to do in my life, you know, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking to the viewers about me. <laughs> yes, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Please. I don't know why he keeps waking up. I'm not talking about him. And now he's got me distracted. Uh, I was talking about how I feel like I am a failure on YouTube. Because, don't get me wrong, I've had pretty awesome success. I mean, I just recorded my third video with Shark. He's a Minecraft, big Minecraft. got 5 million subscribers. Which, if you want to see that video, well, go ahead and take a look at my channel. Um, he allowed me to record, which is really, really cool. Uh, it was basically like turning Minecraft into a horror game, but that's not the point I'm trying to make. But... No, that's not what I'm talking about. I just, I feel like no matter how hard I try at YouTube, at life itself, I mean, I don't have friends. Um, I don't have a lot of money. I'm honestly not happy with my job. I like my job, but there's a couple people there that are making my job very, very difficult. Alongside, there is... I'm not gonna lie, there are a couple customers that I'm having issues with. Like today, some woman freaked out and literally threw a temper tantrum, like a little toddler tantrum. Because I didn't hand her the stamps as soon as she told me she wanted stamps. Because they're underneath my drawer and I cannot open my drawer mid-transaction. It's, and it's not a matter of, I didn't, I don't want to. It's a matter of, you would literally have to get a crowbar to do that. And rather than let me explain that I can't open it mid-transaction, she screamed at me and, and lost her bleep until another associate came over because I needed change. And then she calmed down. What? No, Emo, I'm not talking about you. I don't know if you guys can hear him, but he keeps saying, what? Sure thing. Huh. I'll be here if you change your mind. Thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't know if you heard that, but he, he just said, sure, I'll be here if you change your mind. Um, anyway, one more thing I want to talk about. Um, it's literally, like, almost 3 in the morning. I honestly didn't think I was going to make the video. I debated on it. I debated on whether I was going to edit it or not, but I don't think this video needs editing. That robot is really loud and distracting, but... 
the other thing that's kind of causing me a little bit of depression, other than the fact that I have no friends, other than you guys, you guys literally are my only friends. And I love you guys. Like, seriously. I love you. You guys have helped me through so much stuff the last four years. And I have that anniversary ready, anniversary video ready for you. It's going to come out in a couple weeks, August 17th. So be prepared for that. I still need to make a better thumbnail. I have a thumbnail for it. It's horrible. I'm going to try to do better. But what's kind of causing me issues is I see all these people that I went to school with get married, have a significant other, have kids, and I can't have any of that. I mean, I can't even get a friend to hang out with me outside of work, let alone be married and have kids. <laughs> and yes, I know from a financial standpoint, that's a good thing, because I'm already kind of struggling as a bachelor or single guy, whatever you want to call that, you know. I'm already kind of failing at this thing called life in so, so many ways. I'm trying to get better, but I just wish things would stop pulling my face. I need something to click. I need something, some, something to succeed at. And YouTube's basically the only thing that has been going even moderately well. So, if you want to see more of my journey on this, I mean, I'm going to be making more videos like this. Probably edited, though, even though it'll be minimally edited most of the time. Except for videos like that shark video I told you about, the Minecraft one, that probably will be quite a bit edited. I, that's what this vid, that's what this channel's about, is relating with you guys, and you guys get a walk with me on my journey on trying to, me trying to succeed in life, because I don't know about you, but I have definitely failed. I have not succeeded. Things are not the greatest right now, but the best way to go about, well, what do you do when you fail in life? You get two choices. You can decide to stop life, which I don't recommend, or you can improve yourself. And that's what YouTube is all about, is improving yourself. Improving your videos, you reinvent yourself. And so that's why here we are. Not every video is gonna be perfect, but not everybody's life is perfect. So if you wanna see something else like this, subscribe. If you wanna see that video I talked about with the Minecraft horror video with Shark, it's gonna be right over here unless it's not edited, then YouTube's gonna recommend a random video for you to watch, so go ahead and please try watching that. I'll see you over there, whichever video pops up there, whether it's YouTube recommending a random one, or it's the shark mine horror minecart video. Have a good day, please.